I'm sure this is not the first time you are hearing about Starlink, which I love to call Elon Musk's satellite internet. And I am not surprised about the plan of Starlink to build a unified internet network with thousands of constellations, in order to provide faster internet speed to customers anywhere and even for airlines. In this video, I will be showing you how Starlink will provide faster internet speed for airlines. When you compare how Starlink began to where it is today, you will agree with me that Starlink is now one of the emerging firms creating tiny satellites, along with venture capital-backed Planet, Britain's OneWeb, Amazon's Kuiper, and Raytheon's Blue Canyon technology. SpaceX's Internet Wing is meant to be the most ambitious initiative of one of the commercial space corporations to offer internet access to the rest of the planet. That includes even the most distant parts of the world. For this to be realized, Starlink intends to establish thousands of constellations that will pave the way for global internet access. This may appear to be feasible, but it will be prohibitively expensive. The Starlink constellation is expected to cost more than $10 billion. Wow, that's a lot of information. These people, on the other hand, are not kidding. Elon Musk recently stated in a tweet that he intends to deploy Starlink for in-flight Wi-Fi aboard airlines. Yes, the same Starlink a satellite-based broadband service owned by his rocket business SpaceX, has partnered with airlines to bring high-speed satellite internet access. This indicates that Starlink is likely to introduce a fresh experience and make positive modifications to commercial airlines' internet access. You're probably aware that Elon Musk is the brains behind all of this. After all, he is the CEO and creator of the Starlink Satellite Internet Corporation. He recently stated on Twitter that discussions are now taking on with commercial airlines regarding the idea of deploying Starlink for in-flight internet access. He stressed that the business is now in talks with airlines about adding Starlink, which he expects to deliver high-speed satellite internet access. Well, he's not imposing it on any airlines because those who don't want it are out of luck, which is why he was precise in his remarks to them, saying please let them know whether you want it on your aircraft. In a tweet, he stated that he is confident and enthusiastic that Starlink would be able to provide low latency, half gigabit communication in the air. Musk thinks that Starlink will provide the globe with speedier internet access services, and the commercial flight industry is no exception. Then we can certainly assume that airline services are part of Starlink's goal to increase its client base to several 500,000 by the end of the year. As Musk stated earlier this year, we are on our way to having a few hundred thousand customers, potentially over 500,000 subscribers within 12 months. However, Starlink has been launching more satellites to accomplish this 12-month objective, and they are also reaching out to enterprises and governments all across the world for collaboration. Even though Elon Musk is known for his Twitter banter, he did not offer any information or context about what he tweeted, which has now become a saying all around the world. It was unclear whose airline he approached or when Starlink will be deployed on the aircraft. But I can assure you that Starlink intends to deploy 12,000 satellites. Elon Musk's aim to bring high-speed worldwide internet has been nearing completion since early this year, thanks to SpaceX launching additional satellites into space. SpaceX has currently launched 1,740 Starlink satellites. Not only that, but the software currently has about 100,000 users in 14 countries. Although Starlink is still in public beta, Elon Musk indicated in September that Starlink will exit beta in October 2021, so keep an eye out for it. As I thought about Elon Musk's concept and Starlink, I discovered that this was not the first time the notion of using Starlink for aviation was made public. One of SpaceX's officials, Vice President Jonathan Hoffler, highlighted it in early June when he stated that SpaceX has been in conversations with multiple airlines about adding Starlink in flight Wi-Fi. Hoffler stated at the time, we have our own aviation product in development. We've already done several demos to date and hoping to get that product finished to be installed on airplanes very soon. 
Hoffler, like Elon Musk, believes that the Starlink global mesh of satellites may provide a speedier internet to airlines. Let me quote him. Starlink offers a worldwide mesh. Airplanes flying beneath that global mesh have a connection at all times. Passengers and customers want a great experience that systems nowadays simply cannot provide. Elon Musk has been working tirelessly on this, and he has even stated that regulatory approval is still pending. In addition to the Starlink timeline when Starlink can now be used by airlines, this is since endorsed and must be approved for all types of aircraft. This will be all for this video. See you in the next one.